Hey guys, Guy Level here, and today I'm gonna show you how to make some awesome overlay slash intermission screens for your Twitch streams without using any editing software. Okay, let me start off by saying that if you don't want to put effort on getting some cool looking overlays, you can go to gumroad.com slash get level. Those are my overlays. They're super cheap. I'm talking 99 cents cheap and some of them are even free. Now, with that being said, let's just say that you don't own any video editing software. You don't want to be using Adobe Premiere or Sony Vegas and all of that. You want something personalized and easy to do. Well, good news is we're going to be using my phone to make some. So basically the goal of this video is to stop you from making any excuses from having some cool animated overlays that you can make either with your webcam, with your phone and all of it inside of Streamlabs OBS. If you don't have uh, Streamlabs OBS yet, I also have a link in the description. It's an affiliate link. Charity gets money if you download from this link. <laughs> now without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to be using my phone. That's a Samsung Galaxy A5 2017. It's a a relatively cheap phone and relatively old phone we are going to be shooting some video so I'm gonna be using this mic stand with this um, phone mount to stabilize the image but you can absolutely use whatever you want uh, put it on your desk put it on top of a bunch of books just don't give me any excuses <laughs> so basically the goal here is to record a stable video without the phone moving and I think we're also not going to be moving because we want that video to be short and we want it to play in a loop and that's going to be our, our overlay. So if we go on my Streamlabs OBS, my starting soon screen was made using a similar method, except I use my DSLR camera. So as you can see, it's just a video uh, looping. I did use an editing software for this one. As you can see, the text is moving here. The stream starting soon. Um, and then this is just a Photoshop transparent image uh, that I put on top of it. And then I added a slideshow inside of Streamlabs OBS. And here you can see my top donators, blah, blah. Right here is the chat. So if someone types, it actually appears here. So this is kind of what we're going to be doing, except of course, we're going to be filming with my phone. So the quality will be uh, different. We're not going to have the background blurry and the lens flare that I added in After Effects and all of that. And ideally, I should be shooting with the back camera because you get a better quality, but it doesn't matter. Obviously, if you have friends, they can help you with that. <laughs> and I just waved at my phone, so it took a picture. <laughs> Freaking technology. Okay, the goal here is for me to tap the record button to start recording and then tap it again to stop without my hand being visible. Okay, so this is the part where if you have a selfie stick that comes with a Bluetooth remote control, it will be awesome to use that so you can activate the video remotely without having to literally touch it with your fingers. So basically what I'm gonna do is actually use my laptop to reflect an image on my glasses. And it's just a YouTube video with some hypnotic uh, animation. Now I know I hear the excuses already. I can't do this, I don't have a laptop. You don't have to do this. Also, if you wanna do this, you don't have a laptop, it works with any TV. But most like the idea is to just film yourself. You don't have to do this specific thing. This is just a little trick to make it more interesting. And now we have to hold it at an angle so that the camera picks it up. Okay, so now we just gotta transfer the files to the computer and open them up in Streamlabs OBS. So they are video files. So what I'm gonna do is go click on the plus and go media source, add source. Usually the second one is the better one. Okay, they're upside down apparently that's not a problem so first thing you want to do very important very important so it doesn't go dark like that is click loop so it keeps on going forever click done we're gonna right click on the source we'll transform and flip vertical there we go so it doesn't loop perfectly but you get the idea now, if you're thinking, oh, I don't like the color or whatever, we can add filters. So let's go ahead and add some filters. Color correction is going to be the first one I add. Probably the only one. Okay, so now we're done. So here's the little thing that you can do in Streamlabs OBS where you can actually make your own overlays in a way. We're going to go here and add a color source. We're going to select a color. We do have mostly red tones, but I'm going to try. I'm going to go with some um, dark gray for now. 
I'm gonna hold shift so it doesn't retain the proportions. Still holding shift. Copy, right click, paste, duplicate. I'm gonna drag this down. Holding shift, click paste, duplicate. Drag this down. All right, so right now we have those three things. I'm gonna group them up. All right, color, you can name it whatever you want. And now I can move them together. So now we're gonna add some text. Okay, so now one last thing that I need is actually to add a filter to all of the color boxes to add a little bit of transparency. So there's two ways, two filters that allows you to get transparency. The color correction allows you and the chroma key. I'm gonna use color correction. And here, opacity. I'm gonna bring that down to 80. So now we need to add it to two more boxes. But what we're gonna do is right click, click copy filters. Click on the others, click paste filter and paste filter. And there we go. And now if I go to my chat and I type stuff. My chat is going to appear. Of course, you can change the color of those boxes if you don't like them uh, to be gray because they're the same color as my chat. I'm going to go ahead and change the color of this one. And of course, you can go crazy with it, add more filters to, to add some animation. And of course, if you spend more time, you will get a better result. That's for sure. If you can trim down the video and I don't know, in your phone's app, uh, if you can edit it, it will be better. If you spend more time creating all those little boxes, adding filters and all of that. I was just showing an example and it literally took me about 20 minutes to get this set up. But yeah, I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty cool, especially if you're not using any editing software at all. You can do everything inside of Streamlabs OBS. And of course, if you spend more time, of course, you're going to have a better result. So take your time. Try to make something cool. Um, if you're familiar with Instagram, you can do a boomerang and actually put it up. The video will loop perfectly. Just take your time to make it look as good as possible. You can do it outside. You can be standing like whatever you want. Basically short videos, you put it on the loop. You can use it as an overlay. No need to pay a graphic designer to make one for you. No need to buy one from my Gumroad page. But hey, if you don't have time to work on all of that, you can go to gumroad.com and get my overlay. If you want to shoot me a message, that's going to be on Twitter at level underscore photo. If you want to follow my Twitch channel, that's twitch.tv slash get level. And you can also follow me on Instagram where I post a bunch of tips and tricks from time to time. And that's instagram.com slash gale.level or at gale.level. If you're still using OBS Studio or if you don't have any broadcaster software yet, you can download Streamlabs OBS, the program I used to make this. The link will be in the description down below. As I said before, it's an affiliate link, so I will get a little bit of money and Charity will also get a little bit of money. So consider it. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Get level out.